Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, quick video. I finally, I finally activated Adobe Digital on my Poke Mini soundbar. I'm using the LG C1. Uh, the way I did it, the way I, the way I fixed it is that I used a toss link from the TV to the soundbar, and uh, switched to op optimal optical cable, and boom, it has uh, the green light for Adobe Digital. I, it took me a while to get this figured out. I was unable to get Dolby, Digi Dolby Digital or Greenlight through HDMI. I did the settings on the TV, on the Xbox, and I was un unsuccessful, unfortunately. So it's a real bummer. I can't use HDMI. But after some time now, I did some research. And I finally used uh, optical cable. So the good, the best part is that um, there's no audio delay. I'm watching uh, Maverick right here, too. I paused it. So I'm able to listen to uh, Adobe Digital now on my with my Sony uh, X700 Blu-ray, and I was pretty happy about that. It took me a while to figure it out, but to me, Adobe Digital just sounds more fuller and louder compared to uh, PCM or stereo. So I got the Blu-ray player hooked up to the TV with HDMI, and then the H in the TV with the uh, soundbar with optical cable. So. The only issue is that I can't control the volume from my t from my TV remote or my Sony Sony soundbar, unfortunately, uh, because there's no I forgot the most CSS CSC mode, so I can't really control anything. So I have to manually adjust the volume on the soundbar itself so which is unfortunately so also if i decide to fast forward to skip through a part um i lose the optical uh sound so i have to manually switch back to um i have to manually switch to optical out so let's go to my tv audio settings So optical out, just keep everything, let me see, HDMI bit stream right here, and the, the next audio, just keep it on auto, you'll be all set. And I just did a factory, re a factory reset on the audio settings for the Sony Blu-ray player X700, and then bam, both of them should work, and you, all you have to do is switch to optical, optical audio setting.